So we're gonna practice walking. <laughs> practice like I don't know how to walk. But just to stretch out my leg. Cause I've been laying in bed all day. So I can't straighten it, baby. Okay. See, that's the problem, because I want to put all my weight on this leg, but I, I'm scared to put weight on this leg, because then I might, I might, like, fall. Okay, let's go. I just need to keep it straight. Is it straight? I can't tell. Yeah. Are you sure? I feel like it's bent. Okay, ready? I'm gonna try to walk normal. Okay. Yay! We're making progress. Hey guys, so I am on my way to my friend Jackie's house because I totally forgot my laptop there and I need to edit that video that we did. I, the struggle is so real. I can't even use my hand to turn my car on. So I have to go in with my left hand and turn it on this way because my thumb and my index finger don't work. People think that I'm like joking. That's probably the hardest part about having this like sickness or whatever it is because people don't realize how serious it is or they start laughing or they don't take me serious when I tell them I'm in a lot of pain. It has definitely affected like my everyday life. Um, and the craziest part is when I wake up, I never know what I'm gonna be feeling. Like one day I can be perfectly fine and then the next day I can like not be able to walk or like my feet hurt so bad or like my hands don't work like they usually do. I haven't really been on social media lately because um, I just have been very depressed lately because I'm only 28 and I'm dealing with a lot of stuff that I feel like nobody at my age should ever go through. So um, I've been kind of MIA. I really haven't been posting as much. I haven't been on Snapchat as much. But it's kind of like I said before, you know, I just, I feel like, I know that everybody like knows me for being like a very positive person and always being happy and all that stuff, which I do. I try to be that way even though I'm going through all this stuff. But I also feel like it could be very annoying to somebody. My mom's the only one that can really relate to what I'm going through because she was just recently diagnosed with lupus um, and she had a lot of the same symptoms that I have which I'm still keeping my fingers crossed that that's not what it is um, because I feel like I'm too young to go through all this stuff and I don't want it to affect my life for the rest of my life or my future of having kids and all of that. But I feel like a lot of times I still smile and I kind of like mask all of that in because I just don't want people to be annoyed from hearing it all the time. And two, nobody will really understand like what I'm going through or the pain that I'm going through. And I always try to stay positive for everybody else because you never know what other people are going through and you never know who has it worse. So I try to keep positive in my mind. So I try not to show it that much. I know I kind of mentioned it on Snapchat here and there, but I don't think you guys know how extreme it can get and the intensity of my pain sometimes. But um, yeah, so these are just little things that I go through or that I've been going through for like the last two months or so. Yesterday was like a scary situation. So I made coffee and I went to pick up my coffee mug and my whole hand just literally gave out on me. My knuckles right now, I don't think you can really tell, but my knuckles, like this one is really big. They get really swollen. And like right now my index finger, I can't like bend down all the way anymore past like that. And so I have no control of my hands sometimes. So I picked up my coffee mug to like pick it up to drink and it just broke. Like I, it dropped, it fell and it broke everywhere, landed on top of me, there was glass everywhere. And I just started bawling crying because I was like, this is something so simple that I've done for so many years 
pick up a cup and just drink my coffee like normal. But my normal things are like my hardest things to do now. God, I, I feel like I sound like a bear of bad news, like negative Nancy, Debbie Downer, all of those things in one person. It's a day in the life. You guys think it's like all fine and dandy and fabulous? Woohoo! You guys are wrong. I'm just a normal person. Maybe not with normal pains or maybe not normal struggles. But I do thank God every day that I am alive and that I am still breathing and that I'm still in this world. I'm very blessed. I have a wonderful family. I have a wonderful man in my life. And I have a, the best dog ever. <laughs> so I'm very blessed. I think that my little struggles in life are not nearly as bad as others. So I just constantly remind myself of that. Alright guys, so quick little update for you. I just got back from the doctors and they told me I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, which is almost like a bittersweet. It's great to know that it's not anything cancerous, but I still am diagnosed with the problem that I am going to have for the rest of my life, which that kind of sucks. Um, I was given some medication now, so hopefully this medication will be helping with the pain and make me tolerate the day a little bit better. So I'm really excited for that. I'm feeling okay today, but you guys know things change from day to day. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and let you know that it's not anything cancerous. And just to tell you guys thank you because you guys have been so sweet and so nice, so supportive. Have been writing me messages on like Snapchat and things like that. Just letting me know that you guys are there for me and that I've been in your prayers. So I really appreciate you guys so much. I just really wanted to put this video up for you guys so that you guys can see that not every day is glamorous. Not every day is pretty and beautiful and full of makeup and beauty and all that because it's not. I go through struggles every single day just like other people do. Uh, may not be the same struggles that you guys or that everybody else is going through but also because health is such an important thing that I think that we take for granted sometimes. I know it's definitely something that I didn't take as serious until it became something this bad and this traumatic. So just take care of yourself you guys. If you guys are having any issues with anything that I've been going through, something like similar, go see a doctor right away and just get your blood work done and take the time that you need to really take care of yourself. You only have one life and that one life is all that matters. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it helped you guys. Um, yeah, until my next video, I'll see you guys soon. Love you guys so much. Mwah.